much sugar we need to make a cup of coffee. An appropriate amount is subjective. But in this subtopic, we cannot estimate the amount. Let's have a look. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Siri Pensyarah Kimia Awak. In this video, we are going to describe the titration process and differentiate between endpoint and equivalent point. We will also find several important terms such as titrant, analyte, and standard solution. Titration is a procedure for determining the volume of two solutions which is acid and base that will exactly neutralize one another. By using a standard solution, the concentration of another solution can be determined. Before the titration begins, a standard solution is filled in a puree. This solution known as a titrant. What is standard solution? A standard solution is a solution containing a precisely known concentration. Then, by using a pipette, we dispense an exact amount of analyte to conical flask. Now, what is analyte? Analyte is a solution with unknown concentration. Before we start a titration, a few drops of acid base indicator are added into the flask. Then, the standard solution is slowly added to the unknown solution in the flask. Titration needs to be stopped as soon as the color of indicator changes. This is the endpoint. What does endpoint mean? Endpoint is the point at which the indicator changes color. At this point, we say that the acid and base are mixed and neutralized. We also have the equivalent point. Now, what is equivalent point? Equivalent point is the point when the number of mole of OH- ion and number of mole of H3O plus ions are equal and the neutralization is complete. So we already learned about titration process. Now we're gonna learn about titration curve. There are three most common titration curve that we gonna sketch. The first one is between strong acid versus strong base. Second one, strong acid versus weak base. And then the third one, weak acid versus strong base. So here there are two types of curve that we can get depend on which one is our titan or our analyte. So if you can see here, we have two different curve. The first curve look like an S shape, while the second curve look like an inverted S shape. So how do we know which type of curve that we're gonna sketch? Here we have a setup of our titration. So the solution in the burette is our titan. And here we have our conical flask. The solution in our conical flask is called an analyte. So let's say we put a solution of acid in our burette and a solution of base in our conical flask. So the type of curve that we can get will look like this, which is an inverted S shape. So if we change the solution, so now we put a base in our burette and an acid solution in our conical flask. So the sketch will be an S shape. So we already know there are two types of curve, which is an S shape and also inverted S shape. So each curve will have their corresponding pH range depend on which titration. We know there are three common titration that we have. So the first one is strong acid versus strong base, strong acid versus weak base, and also weak acid versus strong base. So look at the first titration. Here we have a strong acid versus strong base. So the pH range for acid that usually we're gonna use is either pH one or pH two. For strong base, we're gonna use either pH thirteen or pH 14. So the end point for strong acid versus strong base is between pH 3 until pH 11 and then the equivalent point 
will be somewhere in the middle of the endpoint which is at pH 7. For the second titration between strong acid versus weak base, here the same we are using the strong acid so the pH range is also the same 1 until 2 but here we choose a different base which is a weak base so the pH will be a bit different from before. For weak base, the pH range is between 11 until pH 12. So the endpoint will be different. This will be between pH 3 until pH 7. So the equivalent point will be somewhere in the middle of our endpoint also which is at pH 5. Now the last one, we have a titration between weak acid versus strong base. Okay, so the pH range for weak acid is between pH 3 until pH 4. And then for the strong base, the same like before, which is pH 13 until pH 14. So the end point for weak acid versus strong base is somewhere between pH 7 until pH 11. And then the equivalent point is in the middle of the end point range, which is at pH 9. Now let's see a few examples on how to sketch the curve. Sketch the titration curve for the following condition of titration. So given is 25 ml of 1 molar ammonia and H3 with 0.25 molar of HCl. From this question, we know ammonia is a weak base and HCl is a strong acid. If we look at the question, we have 25 ml of ammonia but for HCl, we have no volume. If the volume is given, the solution will be in our conical flask which is our analyte. So now we know ammonia is our analyte which is in our conical flask. This is a titration between weak base versus strong acid. So the shape will be inverted as shape. So from this table before, we know this is titration between weak base and also strong acid. So the range of pH for our weak base is either pH 11 or pH 12. So here we will become, let's say we use pH 12. Okay. So here is our pH 12 and then HCl is a strong acid. So the pH range is either pH 1 or pH 2. So let's say we use pH 2 here. Okay. So now the end point range is somewhere between pH 3 to pH 7. So here we have the end point. The end point must be somewhere in the middle at the straight line. So here we have pH 7 and here we have pH 3. So the equivalent point is at pH 5, so somewhere in the middle of our end point. So this is our pH 5. So label, this is an equivalence point. So now, look at another example. So given is 25 ml of 0.1 molar HCl with 0.1 molar NaOH. So we know HCl is a strong acid and the OH is a strong base. Given is the volume for HCl. So we know HCl is our and light which is the solution in our conical plus. The shape of the graph will be an S curve. Refer back to this table. So this is a titration between strong acid versus strong base. So for the acid, pH range must be somewhere between 1 or pH 2. So let's say we use pH 1 here or you can use also pH 2. Okay, for the strong base, pH range is somewhere between pH 13 to pH 14. So here let's say this is pH 13. Okay, and then the end point range must be somewhere in the middle at the straight line. So just label it here and also here. So pH range is somewhere pH 3 to pH 11. So here we have pH 11, here we have pH 3. The equivalent point is in the middle of our end point which is at pH 7. So here is our equivalent point. So label equivalence point. 
In this video, we have described and defined important point in titration process. Remember the similarities and the difference between end point and equivalent point. Take your time when doing a titration experiment and you will gain an experience. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and click the bell icon if you want to be notified when our new video are uploaded. Thank you. Have a nice day.